The first thing to do with the MC Cruise after we installed it is to test the switch. That's relatively easy to do and I'm going to show exactly what's required. We turn the key on to the bike and you can see that the backlights have come on behind the on off button, the set button and the resume button. First thing we do is press and release the on off button and the LED starts flashing. That means that the cruise control has not passed the brake test and will not engage while the red LED is flashing red green. If we press and release the front brake or the rear brake, if it's been installed properly, when you release the brake, the LED will go solid red, as you can see here. That means that the computer is detecting the brake signal and therefore, and thereafter, the cruise control will engage assuming you are at speed, above the minimum speed, and all other parameters are okay. The next thing we want to do is test whether the computer is detecting the stop codes. The stop codes are not error codes, they're stop codes and they tell the computer will tell us why it won't engage or why it suddenly disengaged unexpectedly uh, at any time. To achieve that, to get the stop code, we press and hold the on-off button for about five seconds and the LED will start flashing red. In this case, with a throttle by wire bike, it's flashing one long red and one short one. The one long one means a stop code of 10 plus one short one which is a stop code 11. Stop code 11 says that the computer has uh, had a power reset and in this case it's had a power reset because we turned the key on. So it's perfectly normal, it's not an error code. Now if we press and release the on off button again, the stop code will go away. If we now press the set button once to try and engage the cruise control, remember it's past the brake test, nothing visible happens. But if we press and hold the on off button again until we get a stop code, the stop code is now two short flashes. Two short flashes means I can't engage because I haven't got a speed signal and the bike is not moving, which is why you don't have a speed signal in this instance. So we've tested the functionality of the power for the cruise control, the power button turning on and off, the set button is being detected, and we've tested that the brakes. So the switch is working perfectly, except we haven't tested the resume button yet. So we'll turn the key off, turn the key back on, but do so while we're holding the resume button, which is the bottom button. This will put us in course gain mode and the LED should start flashing uh, amber. And you can see that the flashing amber uh, is occurring and it's a code as well. If we count the number of flashes of the amber, it will give us the course gain value. The next step in course gain mode is if you press and hold the on off button for a period that the LED will change to red and that gives us the fine gain value. These have all been set up in the factory so you don't have to worry about changing them at this moment and you really shouldn't change them but it tells you how to get to these uh, mechanisms. You can do this while you're riding by the way. If we press and hold on off button again it'll go to green and that uh, value is basically the acceleration around set speed. It controls the power that's applied and the accelerations that are achieved around set speed. If it's too high the bike will start to niggle, if it's too low the, the bike will start to wander around set speed. So that gives you an idea on the switch testing that should be done before you go into diagnostic mode on, a, uh, on any bike. Um, the throttle by wire diagnostic mode and the, and the electric servo diagnostic mode diverge and there's two different processes. So we'll stop it at that and I'll see what the video looks like.